I feel like I've never completely left the locker room in high school or in college. I even think about that all the time before making any kind of major decision, before implementing a process. But let me put on the cleats instead of the loafers and let me think about what that generates inside of me from a feeling standpoint, from a trust standpoint. Well, I, I never thought I'd get into coaching. I mean, I got into it because I was working public relations back in Coral Gables. I go to the games and they didn't look too good. And my, my good friend was coaching there. I would fax over, hey man, try this. You know, you could help protect it. And one day he just says, hey, why don't you just come over here and interview to be a graduate assistant and help the program where you played at. This whole thing has got to be based on trust. And there's no way you could trust each other unless you have worked your tail off with each other and by each other. And that's the only way accountability is gonna come about. And you just start talking and telling your story. You'd be surprised at what comes out of you, uh, not to mention what comes back at you. Besides the competition, besides the right kind of pressure, the guidance, uh, the mentorship, the discipline, the structure, all the things that go with that, they really shape and mold you. You know, and, and I want that for our guys. I want an unbelievable experience and not just winning the championship. You know, this football thing isn't complicated. People are complicated. I am one of those guys that hates to lose more than he likes winning, even on successful days. A lot of times on film, you'll see some things during a victory that aren't what you really want, but somehow you got away with it and that's dangerous. We always tell our guys, look, if it's not good enough when we lose, it shouldn't be good enough when we win either. You can't have a bad day can't let that spill over. You're just, you're held to a higher standard.